Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We are back at the GCNKA offices for our very last weekly member spotlight of 2018. We are fireside. We are getting this set um, really going. We might keep this fireplace out for the, for the next year, though. It looks really cool over here. Um, but I wanted to introduce and welcome our guest for this morning, Mr. Gary Crow. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. Thank you for spending your Friday with us. You're welcome. Are you off today or are you working today? No, I'm today? working. Okay. I'm working the Kenwood area today. Oh, so okay. Well, thank you. Good. Thank you for being here. Um, excuse my casual. I'm um, technically on PTO today, but I was <laughs> very excited to meet here with you. So thank you again for being here. We're going to dive right in if you're ready to get started. I'm ready. All right, well, um, first of all, why don't you just maybe take a moment, introduce yourself, tell us who you work for, and how long you've been in the industry. I'm Gary Crow. I've um, worked for Chadwell Supply. Been in the industry about 21 years or so. Um, started with um, Marquette Management, Lincoln Properties, ended up working for Village Green for almost 19 years. So, see both, we sides, of back, the, both we? sides of the fence and we go way back. Yeah, yes. we do. Well, welcome. And you've got a very interesting perspective having worked for a management company for so long and now on the vendor side of things. Tell us a little bit about what do you feel is the biggest difference for you being in um, the associate member side versus the primary member side? It, um, it's, it's weird kind of really because you visit these properties and you're like, I used to be over there. So right. it's kind of like, I always tell them I jumped the fence. <laughs> um, that's my terminology for it, but it's kind of the same because I just want to be able to give them the level of service that I always expected right? and make sure that they can get the parts they need, you know, the next day and right? just so they can take that, get that resident and make them happy. And So you've went from really supporting and taking care of residents to supporting and taking care of the people who take care of residents Yes, yeah, the entire property now. But you of, understand the sensitivity. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right. I don't know how, had I not been in the service manager field how I would have been as successful with Chadwell. Right. Because I feel like when they call me sometimes I'm like, how did if I wouldn't have done that job, right. how would I be able to help them? Well good. So anyway, I, I see why they kind of go after maintenance people when they're looking for sales reps. So. Right. Well good. How did you get into property management back 19 or it 20 was, years ago? Uh, and a friend of mine worked for um, Lincoln Properties and approached me one day and uh, I said, you know what, let's try it. Mm -hmm. let's, let's give it a try. And I really enjoyed it because every day was different. I was taking care of a resident. And I always get something good out of making somebody's day. Like, you know, when you get their furnace fixed or their air fixed. Right. They're just so appreciative. And it, and I liked helping people. So, What did you do before you worked for? I, I was a you. service manager for um, Ford Lincoln Mercury. Oh, okay. So I worked at um, Lincoln Mercury at Beachmont, which isn't there anymore. But uh -huh. So you're on the east side, but with Chadwell now, you kind of go all over the Cincinnati yeah, area? Yeah, I kind of go all over the place. Um, my main territory, I believe, we're going to be moving things around a little bit more in February. Okay. But I believe it would be like Milford South. Okay. But right now, I'm kind of covering the entire territory, so. Oh, wonderful. Um, tell us about, I know having been on site for so many years, and I was your area director at one point <coughs> in time and worked very closely with you, I can think of several, several memorable moments that you've had in property management. Um, but maybe tell us about one of the most uh, interesting things or memorable days that stand out to you. There's so many. Um, I chose 9-11, obviously, and then it wasn't because of 9-11, but everybody, if you don't remember where you were, mm -hmm. there's something wrong with you. Right. But in particularly, that sticks out because this little resident, like, I'm pulling up in front of the building golf cart. She basically drug me in the apartment by my shirt, freaking out. She was a preacher's wife. They didn't believe in watching TV, so she drug me all the way back into the laundry room little box black and white TV <laughs> and she's I mean she's spazzing I mean like I'm like holding her like okay it's okay it's gonna be okay and but I'll never forget just trying to calm her down mm -hmm. and try to let her just know that we're gonna be okay and right so there's like I said there's plenty of memorable moments but that one that's I'll a memorable never, moment for me actually now it, when you mentioned that and it was just that particular resident like, uh -huh. Yeah, being on site that day because it happened so early in the morning. Yeah. I was pulling on site when I heard about that, and I, I remember that was an and I was even unbelievable like at, day. At first, confused. I'm like, well, what's going on? Is she watching a movie? Is yeah. she just like, because she never watched TV, so I thought, is this real? Like, in right. my head, I didn't know what was even happening. But 
we didn't have a, a TV in our clubhouse. So I was a property manager at the time. And so our maintenance team brought the TV from the fitness center downstairs up to the clubhouse <laughs> so we could watch it and yeah. see what was going on. The whole day was kind of a blur from that yeah. point. But it, uh, Do you it was just that particular resident. Was that on a Monday? I don't remember, honestly, what day of the week it yeah. was. That I don't remember. But yeah. I, will, I mean, it was like it was yesterday. Yeah. And I'm sure that is with everybody. But, right. you know, with you asking me that question, it's just that resident. Like, mm -hmm. I just felt so sorry for her. But I didn't even know they owned a TV. Because they don't, they don't believe in right. watching TV. So. Right. You know, it's funny asking this question of all of the people that we talk to. It's so interesting to think, and what a unique perspective that anyone who's ever had the opportunity to work on site, um, how interesting it is when you kind of live with all of your customers. You know, you live yeah, with 200, sure. 300, 400 people at any given time, and how um, the experiences that you have interacting with those people in a really intimate setting because it's their life. Yeah. Um, what kind of just. It days just, that my, the, the residents to me were family you know yeah. you you just took care of them like you would family and right. they greatly appreciated it and that's what I got out of it right. so when you were at um, a couple of properties for a very very long period yes. of time and so you probably were family to some of those residents yeah they even knew you Christmas. or saw you more they than always they always make sure they got family. a Christmas card and happy right. birthday you know all that good stuff because they knew you right like, well good well can we talk a little bit more about you on a personal level <laughs> sure well, tell us about your family. Okay, I've been um, married for about, well, I got married at 18. <laughs> Rough road off and on a couple times, but all together, it's been, what, 30, oh, wow. 30 some years at this point. I can't right. do the math this morning. Right. <laughs> but, uh, so I have a son, Bruce, he's 33, three grandkids, Kyla, Carly, and a new grandkid, it's not three months old now, Wyatt. Aww. Um, he's adorable. The other two are adorable as well. I but uh, Wyatt is, he's, the boy that we didn't think he no. was, we were ever going to have. So yeah. he's awesome. He won't be spoiled or anything. No. <laughs> the, the girls aren't spoiled either. I right. mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Do you have holiday plans with the fam? Yeah. Um, we're going to have Christmas at our house this year. Good. We uh, moved out to New Richmond this past year on a, on a little bit bigger house and on yeah. some land. And so kind of excited to have the family over. Well, that'll be fun. My mom's going to come to town for Christmas Day. And yeah. So that'll be fun. Well, good. Coming fast and furious, ready or not. Real isn't quick, it? I, I'm not ready, and I'm just having trouble getting in the spirit. But it'll happen, and it'll probably happen at the last minute. Well, but. 40 degrees of rain doesn't quite feel like Christmas, but no, it feels um, like I need to build an ark. I think after this weekend we'll get to the holiday spirit. No matter, I hope so. No matter the weather. Um, well, what do you and your family like to do in your spare time? Any hobbies or pastimes? We like to just be with family mostly and um, enjoy a good dinner out every now and then. And, we have a family dinner at our house usually on almost every Sunday. Oh, we have family dinner, and the son brings the grandkids over, and it's a good time. Do it's, you cook, or does your wife do the Oh, cooking? I can't cook. I could burn water. Um, <laughs> I can grill really well. So if it's summertime and we're right. grilling, I'll grill the meats, and I always get good good thumbs up on that. But she does the cooking mostly. Okay. Well, speaking of food, what's your favorite place to eat or favorite uh, restaurant? I have to say Chipotle. Can't I just, go wrong with Chipotle. I can't go wrong with it. Right. Um, Chipotle. Are you a burrito or a bowl guy? I'm a bowl guy, and, yeah. I, and I'm trying to cut some weight, so I don't eat the rice. I get like, I basically get a chicken salad there you go. at Chipotle, it but I really, like their, option, I really but... like their chicken and their flavoring, and it's just really good. We had um, Chipotle catered for a meeting that we had, and I've never seen as much guacamole in one place in all of my life. I was like, this probably costs $300 for this enormous amount yeah, of I'm, guacamole. I'm but... not a guacamole fan, <laughs> but Bruce really likes it, but yeah, I'm not a... Chipotle's not a fan. It's pretty, pretty epic. I have tried it. I'm just not a fan of guacamole in general. So. You've not had the right guacamole. <laughs> That's what everybody keeps saying, but Chipotle's supposed to it be one good. of the best. It is so. good. Um, well, do you have any pets? Oh, uh, we have three toy poodles. Oh, what are their names? Coco, Trixie, and Lucky. Do they rule, rule the roost? No, but I'll tell you what, they're pretty smart little dogs. Yeah? They, uh, you tell them to go to bed, they go get in their pen. You know, Coco, just, Trixie, and Lucky? Lucky. Lucky, okay. So Coco and Trixie are um, brother and sister. They're about 12 years old now. Oh. So, but they they could get along pretty good. And Lucky's probably seven or eight. I don't remember exactly how old he is, but are they they're good dogs. Are they yapping? Only if they hear girls? something. Yeah. They're usually pretty quiet. <laughs> they like to watch TV. They yap if there's a dog on TV. I mean, right. they're, they're smart. So. Yeah. Well, speaking of TV, what's your favorite TV show or movie? Here we go. Uh, yeah. I, I hate to keep referring to 911, but that's a new show this season. I don't know if you watched it. I haven't. 
it, it's I really enjoy helping people, so I think that's why I really like those type of shows, and that's a really good. Is it show. about nine eleven? It it's not about nine eleven. It's about nine one one emergencies. First responders, okay. First responders, and yeah, it's it's a really great show. Is so. it a um, a series? It's a series. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can go back and watch. I'm sure somehow you can go back yeah. and watch the first season. I think it comes back on in March or oh, whatever, okay. but it's a really good. Like I said, it's about helping people. And yeah. Just you of all people have known me for yeah. many, many, many years, right. and that's I enjoy helping people. At the end of the day, I, I get something out of that. So. Well, I'll have to check that out. I love those kinds of shows. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. So. You know what? I've kind of. I don't know. It's probably just my um, schedule, but I have like fallen off of watching any TV shows. Even the ones that I like for the last six months or so, I have I've not been able to watch anything. I watch the news, so I've got all kinds of recordings and like things that I've made a note of that I need to. Out, oh, it's space, beyond so. full. But yeah, that sounds really good. I'll have it to watch that. It is a good show. Well, what's the last concert you went to, or the most memorable concert that you've been to? I tell you, I've been to. I'm a big music fan myself. I just love music. I always have. I'd rather have the radio on as the TV. So right. when it goes back to the TV show, I don't watch a lot of TV. But, right. Um, I been to many like I said but Metallica Ooh, and it sounds really weird I'm not a big hard rocker I like rock country old rock I like a little bit of everything yeah but they just put on a show that I've never seen anybody put on like that where'd you see them I drove to Atlanta oh, okay with a buddy of mine last fall last oh, cool. year back yeah. in I think it was like June or July to that new um Sun Trust stadium, stadium they put uh -huh. in yep right. and they performed there and it was it was just amazing the wow. show they put on that's cool well you can't even if you're not a rock fan, you can't not like Metallica. They've got some pretty epic. Yeah, they've got some stuff too. Especially to people me, of our some age, of their right? stuff's a little too hard for yeah. me. But the concert in general was just—it was just awesome. Well, cool. I would, right. you know, I'd go see them again just because of the type of show they put on. Do you? I know because you're on the east side. Do you go to Riverbend a lot? I do. I um, think that's the best. Like that's just the best concert venue. A couple years ago, I think I only missed a couple concerts. Oh yeah. This year, you I do, think like, I only season? made it to like one. Yeah. Um, it was just a busy year with, you know, just switching careers and moving after yeah. 12 years of moving. Right. The stuff you can accumulate. Like, I felt like I moved for six months, so I didn't. You had two major life <laughs> events in 2018, yeah. didn't you? Three with the new baby. You know, oh, new well, yeah, the new so grandson. Wow. It's been a busy year. Well, hopefully 2019 you could just, like. I'm just hoping 2019 is just going to be a really good year for Chadwell, for instance. Right. You know, they were new to Cincinnati this year, yeah. so 2019 is looking good, and we're right. really super excited. We, uh. And you're a new member of the Apartment yes. Association here, so we appreciate that and, and wish you well. I know you're getting a lot of member too, support. Right. But it's awesome. Well, thank you for all you do for our um, Apartment Association. It's obviously you and I go so far back, and it's great to see you. I'm very happy to see you happy. And, yes, um, thank you. Wish you much success in 2019 and peace. <laughs> yes. And calm. That's what I was say. What do you want for Christmas? Just peace? A little like, peace. Peace on earth. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I can still wish for you it. You can. You know? Well, thank you again for being here. I want to ask you one more question, and we'll wind it down. Um, how do you think uh, anyone that you know from working in the industry for so long, how do you think they would describe you as a professional? I would hope um, they would just say I'm, I'm a genuine guy who truly cares. Um, I would never ask anyone to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Mm -hmm. um, it's just how I am. I'm like, I just jump right in there and get the job done. Right. Um, whether it's like now taking care of a customer a resident resident was still a customer you know right. um, it's just making them happy and just getting the job done and I wouldn't ask you to do something that I was not willing to do and I think that went a long way and people respected me for that so absolutely I can speak firsthand to that and I can say that we've talked to a few people um, who you've worked with over the years as a part of preparing for this um, interview and the post that we'll make later and, and you'll see some words that you have not seen yet um, in okay. the post uh, and I'll tag you in that post um, about what people say for you and I want to say thank you one of the things that I like the best about you and that I've always appreciated the most about you is anything that I've ever needed of you um, including calling you up and asking you if you'd be willing to participate in this interview <laughs> you're tell me where I need to go or right. you know, let me know how I can help and I appreciate that very much it's been a pleasure to talk to you again this yeah, morning you too. And, um, again we'll tag you on the post thank you everybody for joining us yes thank you we appreciate your support wish everyone a very merry christmas and a happy new year we are going to take a, a short hiatus on the weekly um, member spotlight interviews next week for the holiday we will not have a post and then the following week we're going to have a facebook only post and then we'll resume with videos 
Um, in 2019, mid-January, we've got some exciting new things coming down the pike, including um, some new folks who are going to get involved in doing some of the interviews. want to just encourage you again, if you know someone who's interested or if you yourself are interested and willing to be a participant of this initiative, we would love to get our calendar for 2019 full to the brim with waiting list um, only uh, room for uh, these kinds of interviews. So please uh, reach out to me personally, um, Michelle, Nancy, or Heather at the Apartment Association, and we'll talk to you all very soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you.